is what I'm calling not a bad hair day, but pretty much a bad hair month at the moment. My, well, first of all, we're on our way to Malibu for a shoot. And Mackenzie hasn't, hasn't done his hair, and he's in the shoot too. It's with Dolce and Gabbana. We're very excited for one of their fragrances. Um, and they've sent us both swimwear and Mackenzie's shorts. Bearing in mind this is an Italian brand, are uh, short shorts. <laughs> and you're, let's say, I like short shorts. Well, you've got great bum and 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 mm. great legs. Actually, that's that is the only reason I married you. Um, and uh, it's juicy. So I am excited about seeing that. Although I know you're a little bit nervous, and you tried to get long, <laughs> you tried to get longer ones. You thought they'd sent the wrong size, didn't you? And they arrived there so small. I just think that the rest of the world hasn't caught up with Italian style yet. No. Anyway, you're gonna have your um. Middle America. Wait, what's that again. wonderful film called? Set in Italy. Come on. Uh, yes, you do. Jude Law. Something new, new Murphy Ghost. Mr. Ripley. The talented Mr. Ripley. Um, anyway, I am also, I was, the problem with trying to get out of the house with a child is it's just impossible. So I didn't, I did a bit of makeup. That side of things is okay. The hair is untouched and terrible. <laughs> so rude. Um, anyway, I also have this beautiful dress on that I'm obsessed with. It's by this Australian swimwear brand that also happens to make dresses called Matto. And I love it. I saw it on a lady last weekend and I ran up. This is it, I nicked it off her. I didn't really, I just asked where it was for and then I had to order it. Chicken over the clam. It's Malibu food. Here's our little gelato cart. I do feel like Mariah Carey, I'm out here in a robe, about to shoot in Malibu. Mm. Cheers. Just setting up for shoot. Got the scrim. Mathilde, our amazing photographer today. And real ice cream, or gelato I should say. Hello. <laughs> so silly. And then this is what we're shooting. <laughs> we'll shoot up high. Just half gut. Just max the saturation no. for time. Don't do half gut. Yeah, now I've got a Filming on set. Just all that raw spritz. We can test that. I mean, we wouldn't normally hang out after a shoot like this, but it's kind of hard to say no. Isn't it, babes? Cheers. We took our props from set and. Um, Utilised them. Yeah. Having a little shrimp cocktail on the ocean. Wow. What an amazing day of work. Morning, guys. Um, I was going to talk about hair health and hair wellness today because I think the word wellness is used, not overused, but used a lot in terms of um, ideas like self care and skin and beauty. Um, and what's quite interesting is I've got a friend in New York who's a dermatologist and he said the thing he gets asked more than anything now about, mainly by women, is hair health and compromised hair growth. Um, I think that's fascinating because I never would have guessed that. And it did make me think about my own sort of hair wellness journey because I, um, have always had very thick hair, then had honour. And when you have your baby, you do lose quite a lot of hair. And what's interesting about that is that um, it's not only that part that for some people, including a very close friend of mine who's really lost a lot of hair and it really affects her confidence. But for me, what's interesting is like the regrowth because I've got these little sprouts coming in everywhere and these kind of tiny weeny bangs that aren't cute. And it's also quite a different texture. 
And it's not just whether you've had a baby or not. I think um, the older you get, it, you know, it happens to men. Um, anyway, I've done some research and I'm actually, um, I'm gonna tell you about a product that I found which is called Nutrafol. And I'm just, I take it with my brekkie every morning. So I'm having my tea right now, my toast. I take four of these, or you can open them up, put them in your water or your smoothie or your juice or whatever. Um, they taste fine. Um, but the reason I like this one is because it is 100% drug free. And um, when I was doing my reading, I saw that over a 1,100 um, dermatologists um, and people in the industry, plastic surgeons have recommended it. Um, and I think you can't just magic a fix, you know, yes, there are great products, styling products out there and tools, um, but this is about doing things um, from the inside out. So it's a longer journey. And I think between three and six months is when you first start to see results from it. So I'm absolutely fascinated by this. So here it is. And you take a little quiz at the beginning because I think they're quite aware of this brand that everyone is completely different. So there are different uh, products. Uh, suited to your needs. So once you figured that out, then you get your very own uh, naturopathic doctor for one-on-one -on -one consultations. So you get your own um, personalized hair growth plan. And at, between six and 12 months, you get um, a hair mineral analysis, which I'm fascinated to know what that is. Hello. Hi. Can I have a coffee? Never. Thanks, babe. It's our new coffee machine, which we're very excited about. Yes, Mackenzie thinks he's a, a professional barista. Yeah, but you have a professional barista because you don't use the coffee machine. You just make me You're very handsome. Anyway, I'm um I sadly missed Father's Day because I was in on a holiday. I wasn't on a holiday. I was on a work trip. It was a fun work trip. But anyway, I still got you presents. That. Um, what? yeah. I got him, of course, on, well, Honor got him a card. And this is how to please Mackenzie. Je um, beef jerky and things like this. Um, but I hid it and then in the morning I said, oh, I think Honor might have got you a little gift in her bathroom. And he said, oh, Honor gave that to me yesterday. She couldn't keep her lips Anyway, still. I've been talking about hair growth and hair wellness and Add it to your Father's Day package, babes. I've got yeah. you your own Nutrafol because you're always jealous of my products. And so you can have one as well. Um, and this is what I actually found out. You guys will find this interesting. It's for hair wellness. So you take about four a day. What are you trying to say? You trying no, to say? you've got great hair, but I think everyone, even if you're not having hair issues, can benefit from um, looking after it and thinking about the future. It could be I'm preventative. All about, I don't have... Do you know what? So many people are, um, what's the word? Shy, or what's the word? And they're a bit like, feel a bit like, like you shouldn't tell anyone. Right. I'm all about like, just stepping up, getting ahead of the curve. I take my morning collagen. I'll, I'll pop some of these pills. You're into stuff. You love everything that I use. So I knew, <laughs> I knew you'd want your own stuff with it. No, but can I tell what you I something do? interesting? Can I, t careful. Can I tell you something interesting? So men's hair, um, growth or lack of is down to genetics. Women, studies have shown, it's far, far more about stress, um, uh, hormonal imbalances, diet, toxins in the, literally in the air around them. And that can all affect it. So I find that really interesting. And, and actually in the trial that these guys did, Nutrafol, 80% of people um, had improved Hair growth. So, well, I'll find out. even if you want to look like Rapunzel, can I put it in a smoothie? Or do I have to just yeah, no, you can open it and put it in a smoothie. I just love the smoothie. Anyway, so it's not we'll, too big for so me. So, we'll, you'll start. I've already started, and we'll let you guys know how our there we go. hair goes. I'm gonna smash all four then. <laughs> Did you just do it? Once? Yeah, once a day, done. Bang. You've come to the garden centre. A bit of a rainy Saturday, but I love it here, and um, we're redoing the garden a little bit, so I need to get some bits and bolts. I really want lots of lavender pots, but no, they don't have it, do they, Anna? No. Okay. Well, I think we have to go to Home Depot then. I, I did say that from the very beginning. 
Really? He wants to watch the football. It's the biggest soccer final. I do love the clay pot. It's about the extent of my gardening skill set. Uh, big ones. No, I like the sort of regs, non-modern, traditional. We ended up getting these instead of lavender. I actually can't remember the name, but it looks so similar. But the colour is a lot darker and richer. You like it, don't you, Anna? Yes. A pretty, pretty flower. So hopefully, I won't kill them. <laughs> I like, your, I like your footwear. It's very Justin Bieber. That's very sweet. Oh, she's smelling it. Well done, Anna. Does it smell nice? Nice. A little helper. Nice bum shot. Gardening helper. Garden. Looks like most of the flowers are off that. So these are what we. Okay, I think I'm going to put them a bit closer together, but they do look good, don't they? Love it. Uh, for first and second grade, yeah. Oh, whereabouts? Uh, Upper Hayford, okay. um, close to Oxfordshire. I oh think. yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I do remember? I, I, I like the the real fish and chips over there. They used to come wrapped oh, in yes. newspaper. Oh yes, yes. They still do that some places. I'm thinking she's all cool. Let's just see this. I was just sitting on that fence for a picture because it's beautiful. You've already got one rattlesnake. That's me, honey. Yes. Quite scary, isn't it? Right, right in there. Know. Um, still hungover. Update. Oh God, no one cares about your <laughs> sob story. <laughs> about to get back on the hair of the your dog. Parent, it's very grow pretty, up. Pretty, isn't it? Love you. Bye. Alright, we found Janice the Smith Hale. Peace. Look how cowboy chic she is. Okay. Notice there's no cowboys around. No. And no well, horses. actually, you say that. <laughs> Rootin' tootin' scootin' bootin' <laughs> uh, Back to Jennifer Hat, horseshoe uh, Necklace And oh, yes. boots And she's <laughs> glamorous as hell So now we are going to Nathan's designed two sweets I think And we're going to meet everyone there for drinks 
first person. No one, no one is eating yet. It's not even open. You are embarrassing. Someone's going to open it up. Good? Business? Yeah, really. I'm back on the Margies. It had to be done. Here's the sweet that Nathan Turner has just finished designing. Isn't that beautiful? And this ranch has been around since the 40s. Clark Gable got married here, just for a bit of a, a history lesson. Wait, let me take you back to the loo. I mean, the bedroom. Yes. Oh, shit, we were Who's the man out? himself? Oh, congratulations. This is my new favorite place. What are you doing? Stoke the fire. Oh, that's nice. Okay. This is gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. This bit is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful table for Nathan's dinner. Live music. I am Mackenzie, still being the loudest person in the room. Good morning. We are about to go riding, there's Nathan. Oh, getting his groove on. I'm quite excited about this. And also, I just borrowed a pair of cowboy boots. I don't think they're my thing, but I'm trying to pull it off from Elizabeth. Just choosing a steed. Took me a while, girl. I'll just show you this. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> this is breakfast, right on the ravine. And there's a bit of live music. If you're ever in Wyoming, want some value for your buck, stop in the KC feed rack. Order cakes. Try your luck. Sunday morning. She's and Kirsty and I, first of all, we're dressed like twins by accident. And we are, we've come to the Rose Bowl, which is the biggest flea market in LA and beyond. And I love it. And I've just found this straight away. I'm hoping that we started in the wrong section because this is really bad so far. Sorry. It's just junk. It's not even like antiques or even cool vintage stuff. We did get a guy to try and offer us a ring for free. Yeah, tried to give us, give away his jewellery. And then, <laughs> and then we just saw, what was it? A toilet, a toilet jewel. jewel. For like a little trinket to have in your toilet. <laughs> just go for brunch. No, we're going to persevere. Yeah. Maybe it's around the other side, all the two vintage stuff. Now we're talking. This is more like it. Love a bit of wicker. Kirsty's quite interested in this rug. I like it for under her dining room table. I feel like um, she needs to. She's about to barter on price. We'll see how well she does. Yeah, I'm into it. I think it's good. So Lulu is very. Uh, is it thrifty? Is that the word? When you come to these things? Well, I, I'm into panthers and shells. But she's so into two things at the Rose Bowl today. Panthers and shells. Or leopards, shells and also uh, rattan. rattan. But I know you won't like this. No, I mean, I mean it's, it's kind of disgusting but amazing at the same time. I can't figure out if I love it or I hate it. Um, it's just I mean, really retro it's and cool. It's what it is. It's just, I think it's funny that you love a black leopard, a black panther, and a leopard, black and a leopard. shell. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, life size. Sold. Definitely, definitely sold. Okay, so I'm back home. That was fun, but a bit underwhelming. Anyway, I didn't break the bank. I got this shell pot, I'm obsessed with shells, for $5.00. Very cute. And then, then this um, hand-blown glass pot, which I know looks quite chintzy, but you've got to um, trust me. I know how I'm gonna style that. I'm very excited. And then I got one more thing. I got this old embroidered 
picture for Honours Room um, from 1967, which I think is really sweet. It has a lovely message on it. And I am planning on doing a bit of a art wall um, collage for her. So I'm gonna reframe that. And I'm also getting a blanket in the same kind of old fashioned style, which I love. You just never know what you're gonna see on Rodeo Drive in LA. Some big camera crew, beautiful horses. Thank you so much. You guys are the best fans in the world. You supported us. You made season one a hit and absolute and utter success. And so that's why we are back with season two. No idea who that guy was. But they did shut Rodeo Drive down for him, so I guess he's major. That's just quite LA really, isn't it? <laughs> 